As we all know, the Unreal Engine is a very powerful platform for game development. I just want to show you how to set up your Oculus Quest VR headset for game development in Unreal Engine. It is definitely a very simple process and without further delay, I'm just going to dive straight into this. Firstly, let's go on the internet and type in unrealengine.com. On the website, let's click on the download button at the top right corner of the page to download Epic Games. If you do not have an account, you can just create one. Otherwise, click on the sign in link and sign into your account, then proceed to download. Once download is complete, double click on the downloaded file and follow the prompt to install. Once installation is complete, open the Epic Games application and then click on Unreal Engine on the left hand side of the page. Click on install. This could take a little bit of time. While you wait, you can just randomly subscribe to this channel. At the end of the install, click on launch to open Unreal Engine for the first time. At this time, I assume that you have installed and configured Oculus app on your mobile phone together with your headset. If you haven't done this, just download it from the App Store and follow the prompt to configure your headset accordingly. Once you have your app up and running on your phone, it is time to configure the Oculus development environment. We need to create a developer organization through the Oculus dashboard. We can get on dashboard by typing dashboard.oculus.com. On the page, let's click on create a new organization. Give the organization a name and press submit. Agree to the terms and conditions and you're good to go. Now we go back on the Oculus app to turn on developer mode. To do this, we tap on the settings option at the bottom right of the screen and then tap on more settings and select developer mode. Now that your developer mode is turned on, let's wear the headset and select the library option on the main screen of our Oculus Quest and then select unknown sources. Here we see the page is empty and this is because we have not deployed any application yet. Once we deploy our app, it's going to appear. The next thing we need to do is download ADB drivers from the Oculus developer website and install Codeworks for Android development. We start by going on the browser and typing developer.oculus.com. At the left hand side of the page, we we'll click on develop and then download. Let's select Unreal Engine and that brings up the Unreal Engine packages. Click on Oculus ADB drivers, agree to the terms and conditions and click on download. Now let's open a downloaded file in its location to unpack it. Open the Oculus ADB driver and identify Android WinUSB. Right click on it and select install. Simply follow the prompt and you're good to go. To install Codeworks for Android, we navigate to the C drive. Click on Program Files, Epic Games, Unreal Engine 4.23, Engine, Extras, Android Works, Win64, and then double click on the code works for Android application. You can decide whether or not you want to allow user data collection. In this case, I'm going to select no and follow the prompt by clicking on next. All the necessary packages are listed and ready to install by default. I have installed most of them already myself, hence why it says no action under most of the packages. If this is your first time, just go ahead and click on next, accept the terms and conditions, and that will install all the packages for you. Again, if this is your first time, the installation might take a little bit longer. At the end of the install, just click on next, and then click on finish. However, you will need to restart your computer to complete installation. Now that the computer has been restarted, it is finally time to build our first game. Let us search for Epic Games. Click on Epic Games Launcher and launch Unreal Engine again. Click on Launch. This brings up the Unreal Editor. At the top, let's select the Blueprint option and choose Virtual Reality. At the bottom of the page, our target hardware is mobile or tablet, and our graphical level is scalable with 3D or 2D. Give the project a name and click on Create Project. Under the Content Browser down below, let's click on the Virtual Reality BP folder and then click on the map and then double click on motion controller map let's delete the startup map and the HTML map and then click on save at the top section of the screen we just need to make a few more configurations and we're good to go 
click on the edit option at the top left corner of the page and select project settings. To the left of the page, click on maps and mode. This is found under the project option. Choose the motion controller map for editor startup. Come down to the platform option and select Android. Accept the SDK license under the APK packaging and click on configure now. Identify minimum and target SDK version and change them both to 25. Scroll down to the advanced packaging section and check the option that says remove Oculus signature files from distribution APK. Lastly, identify the option that says package for Oculus mobile devices and click on the icon to select Oculus Quest. We can now close the project settings tab at the top and navigate to the launch option. At this point, you want to make sure that you have your Oculus Quest connected to your computer. Also, note that you would need a USB Type-C cable if your computer do not have the USB Type-C port. I will put a link in the description about the type of cable I'm talking about. Once you've connected your headset to the computer, your Quest headset will be recognized under the launch option. However, deploying the game would not be successful until you've listed Android as a target platform for this project. Now, navigate down to supported platforms and click on Android. You can close project settings again and launch your VR game, wear your headset and see how it looks like.